The White Mountains TV Foliage Report is brought to you by Settlers Crossing. Gear up, gather around, or grab everyday essentials. Welcome to the White Mountain Foliage Report for October 2nd, 2020. This year will be remembered as a year of early peak. From north to south, the most vibrant and consistent colors have already arrived. In some spots, they're lingering. In others, they're beginning to fade in earnest. We'll start this week's tour near Lincoln Woods on the western side of the Kankamagas Highway. Aerial shots show color still vibrant in the lower elevations, especially backlit in early or late day sun, but fading at higher elevations. Inside the forest along the Lincoln Woods Trail on the east branch of the Pemigewasset River, leaves are a bit more protected from the wind and will hang on longer, while the slopes above get scoured bare in the week to come. Further north, in Crawford Notch, the forest is saturated in color, though peak hues of orange, red, and yellow are being replaced by the rusts and bronzes of late fall. A drive along scenic Route 302 should remain colorful through the week. This view from the Intervale Scenic Vista just north of North Conway shows some green along the Cycle River Valley, as some tree species have not been as quick to change as those of the northern hardwoods. It's a contrast of seasons, late fall on the reddish-brown slopes and lingering summer on the valley floor. Finally, a view from Albany, New Hampshire. Carter Notch and the ledges of North Conway are past peak in the distance, while a few fall fireworks light up the foreground. Enjoy the color this week. Though peak in North Conway is usually around Columbus weekend, we are definitely a week or two ahead this year. With fall-like weather in the forecast, we'll begin to see more leaves fluttering in the air and covering the ground than remaining on trees. This has been the White Mountains TV Foliage Report.